Hello, so are you ready for 73 questions? I mean, I guess so. So first is, who are you? The name's Jackie Brenner. <laughs> what are you passionate about? Um, I would say I'm most passionate about meditation, yoga. I love science. Huge STEM girl, Jay Brenner Physics. Um, and yeah, I really like working out and playing sports. What are your proudest accomplishments in college? Um, giving a TED Talk freshman year. That was so much fun. What's your major? Um, I'm in the PMM program. It's a seven year combined BSMD program with Penn State and Jefferson in Philadelphia. So that's pretty cool. So why did you choose Penn State? Um, I would say I went to boarding school. I went to Phillips Exeter in New Hampshire. So it's a really small school. So I really wanted to get into like a big environment and I heard the football here is insane. So I wanted to experience that, I guess. So now, do you like it here? I mean, I love it. It's absolutely crazy. So yeah, I'm obsessed. Now, is it really the Happy Valley? I mean, I'm sad right now because I'm leaving in two days, uh, but this whole semester has been like the happiest time of my life, right, even though COVID. Really good. That's really good. One to 10, how similar is Penn State to the movies? I would say they do a pretty good job. Like I didn't think, I mean, I definitely replicate like great pictures that like seem like the movies, especially at the football games, going to the hub, parties. But yeah, I'd say like eight out of 10. So now why? Um, I don't know. I think Penn State does a great job and the student body is like so active and everyone's so involved and like welcoming. Um, I just think it's overall like awesome. So now who is the stereotypical Penn State student? White, male, uh, somewhere from Pennsylvania, frat, all frat boys or in a sorority. Like that's it. <laughs> now. What is a strange tradition that Penn State has? Oh my God. Okay, so freshman year, I was walking out of Redifer near my dorm and we were crossing Mifflin like road and I literally see all these people streaking and I'm like, what the hell is going on? So apparently it's called like the Mifflin streak and it scarred me for life. There was literally just all of these boys and girls just streaking. I didn't do it. Now, how does the traditional Penn State student describe where they're from? 30 minutes outside of Philly. Now, how's the food on campus? Okay, so this is the best question, biggest question. I love the hub because Chick-fil-A is the best and McAllister's. I spent all my meal points there, salad if I want to be healthy. Um, so yeah, it's definitely the hub for me. Now, what's the best dining hall on campus? Okay, West. West has the best cookies um, and the best pizza. I'll probably eat around like 10,000 calories if I go there, but I have to not eat in the morning. What's the worst thing about the dining halls? I hate how you like can't take food out, but I guess you could this semester. Um, but that was kind of annoying. And it's not good all the time. It's like, you have to know when to go. Okay, so when you're not eating on campus, what is your favorite downtown food spot? Okay, I'm a big bagel girl, so I like Irving's and I also love Bagel Crust. And now that they have like food at night, that's awesome. Still love Snap because you can build your own pizza. And the Nutella pizza, the Nutella pizza is so good. So now, uh, where did you live freshman year? Um, I lived in Simmons, one of the honors dorms. It's that way. <laughs> so now, what's one word you can use to describe the dorm bathrooms? Um, well, considering I've lived there for three years now, I would say it was atrocious and it is still atrocious and it will always be until they redo it. <laughs> So now, if you don't want to live on campus, when's the earliest you can move off campus? Um, you can move off campus sophomore year, and most kids do that. So do you think more people are on campus or off campus? Um, I think it depends who your friend group is. So a lot of kids in my program live on campus, but a lot of my friends outside the program, I'd say like almost all of them live off campus. It's really popular. So now, what extracurriculars are you in? Um, I was in yoga club for a while um, and then I joined um, like the ping pong club. I was going to do it with Josh, this wonderful man who's videoing. We never did. Um, and then I've just done like a lot of different, you know, activities across campus and Thon's a huge one. Love that. Energy there is amazing. So now what's the favorite thing about that extracurricular? Um, 
I guess I'll talk about Thon because like that's like what we're known for and I would say just like all the events leading up to it are awesome and then the days of Thon are also insane and it's just like how do they put that on? So now what's the Greek life like on campus? Okay it's crazy I feel like People know Penn State for like the fact that like we are Greek life and I'd say like that's true. Um, so yeah, a lot of my friends are in Greek life. It, I mean, it's awesome if you want to get into that. So I'm not in it, but. Are you in a sorority? Oh, so yeah, no, I'm not in sorority, but I do go, go out with like a lot of my friends who are in sorority. So it's not like absolutely necessary, but some people still think that you need to be in one to go out. So now, do more people go out or stay in? Um, again, it depends on like your group of friends. So a lot of kids in my program, I don't think go out that much. But as I met kids outside of the program, they all go out so much. So now, how many times a week do you go out? Let's see, freshman year, I only went out like maybe once a week because I was just like scared. And then as I got more comfortable and through football season, I think I went out like Thursday through Saturday. And then sophomore year, I would do the same unless I had a test. I just felt like, you know, why not if all my work was done, right? So now what's the typical party outfit? Girls, black crop top that's really short <laughs> and jeans. For guys, it's like whatever disgusting shirt they want to put on. They, they just do whatever they want every time. So now, what frat do you think throws the best parties? Um, I think I'm going to stay silent on this one just because every frat here has gotten in trouble. So, uh, what's the best bar on campus? Turn 21 this semester. Um, so, f bars are different right now because of COVID, but I'd say Champs is my favorite because of the dirty Sprite. Um, so yeah, and then cafe because of the chicken wings and the iced teas in the pitcher. So now, do people get fake IDs here? Um, they're so strict here. Even if you tried to get a fake ID, like you probably wouldn't get into the bar. It's like known for that. So now, what's the best place to get an inebriated snack? Oof. So Bagel Crust is where it's at because now they have nighttime snacks. Other than that, it's Canyon Pizza which as we know, one bite only, everybody knows the rules was here. <laughs> um, but that place is disgusting unless you're absolutely trash. Now, do most people hang out around campus or off campus? Um, I get, again, like during the week, it's all on campus, like either at the hub, like on the lawn when it's like really nice out, COVID different. Um, but on the weekends, everyone kind of moves like off campus if they're going to like the frat houses or to the football games, but mainly on campus. So now what's the dating culture like? None of my friends have like dated anyone. So I'm like, not really sure. I don't think it's that big, but again, that might just be like me knowing only like 30 people. <laughs> so now what is the most hype sport on campus? So football. But like this semester, it's it's hockey. <laughs> we suck this semester. So now, when was the last time you disagreed with the refs? So I'm gonna have to say last weekend, and I probably will for like the rest of the season, but hopefully we just don't suck. So do you see a lot of student athletes in your classes? Um, okay, this is a funny story. I actually need a lot of time to discuss this. So I had a friend um, well, I, I met someone on the football team my freshman year in my chemistry class who always asked for my clickers and I was like, sure. And then I came here over the summer after my freshman year to take organic chemistry and I took yoga class and my entire yoga class was me and 15 football guys. So shout out to Jesse Luteca, um, love my life. So, I became friends with all of them, it was awesome. So how often do the student athletes go pro? Um, I would say it depends on the year. Um, we've definitely had really great years and we've had a bunch of people from Penn State go um, pro, but I'm not sure about this year. <laughs> so now one to 10, how physically active is the student body? Well, considering every frat boy wants to be like super buff, I'd say whenever I've gone to the gym, it's always so crowded and girls as well want to always stay active. So it's nice to see that, you know, at a school, you know, where it does get cold here to see that they like prioritize that. So now, one to ten, how smart is the student body? Um, depends on the group. My program, ten out of ten, or some of them are geniuses. Student body, I'd say maybe five to six. So now, what's the easiest class you've taken?
you can hear? Um, probably HDFS or art, like, so, yeah. So now, what's the hardest class? Oh, this semester I'm in organic chemistry lab, and it's not that the material is necessarily that difficult, it's that, like, the grading and, like, getting, you know, some of the administration is hard to work with, but overall it's fine. So now, are the students competitive academically here? Um, again, it depends on who you're talking about. In my program, everyone's extremely competitive and in the honors college. General student body, I would say they care a lot, but they won't like show how competitive they are, which is like a good thing. So how willing are professors to help? Extremely willing. I did crossword puzzles with my CAS professor all last year. And he would also help me so much on everything else and then all of my science teachers i've literally become best friends with all of them like they have been amazing every single one of them dr how um dr bowl like love them now what is the best study spot on campus mm. so freshman year i didn't like explore enough so i only went to the hub and like bbh but I love the library. Um, second floor, it's where is that? Where it's at. <laughs> um, so yeah. So what's your go-to drink for energy? Coffee, coffee always. Starbucks. What's your typical class size? So it depends. Gen Eds are usually really big. Be from like 100 to 300 kids. But once you get to like you know higher level classes and your English classes, you're at like 20 to 40 kids sometimes. So now, how many people take a fifth year? Um, I'm not sure of a lot of kids that do, but I know some do. So 1 to 10, how hectic is scheduling? So in my program, we get priority scheduling, which I know is awesome. So it's not that stressful, but I know it is for other kids. And I also know that like, it's still hard to plan like when you want everything during the day because some classes overlap. So it's still hard. So now, do you get all the classes you want? Um, in our program, because we get priority, we do, but I know some kids don't. I did have one overlapping class one time, so I couldn't take it, but I just took it next semester. Okay, so quick change of scenery, back indoors. What are you Simmons. excited about nowadays? Um, well, I'm actually upset because we're leaving today, so um, I'm kind of sad, but I guess I'm excited to do research next semester before I start med school, so that's going to be fun, I guess, a little change in pace. and do some other things before med school. So how's the weather at Penn State? That's a big topic. Okay, so it's gorgeous right now. Fall is my favorite season, but it actually rains so much here. Um, so that sucks. And then the worst time is probably winter when it's just like dark at five o'clock. So, but overall it's pretty nice. So how many snow days do you get a year? My freshman year, we had four snow days all during my chem labs, which was hilarious. And we did get a lot of delays. Last year, not that many. So again, it depends on the year and this year, nothing. So how do most people get around campus? Okay, so Blue Loop is a huge thing, which just got back this year because of COVID. And what's um, that? So the Blue Loop is just like, I don't know if I'm the best at describing it because I don't use it that much, but it just takes you to different parts of campus, which is really nice because it's huge here. Um, but other things, people walk everywhere. And then there's the skateboarders who fall everywhere um, and they're hilarious to watch. Now, what percentage of students drive? I'd say about like 30% 30, 30 of students drive on campus, um, but because there is a lot of parking on campus, but I don't know a lot of friends that drive. Now, one thing you can't leave the house without. My red beats. If you see me on TikTok, my red beats are always on. <laughs> Signature. And what's your favorite thing to do when you're procrastinating? Uh, get a nice coffee. So now, what do you want to do when you graduate? Um, I want to become a doctor. Um, I guess I have a lot of other things I want to do. Um, I want to go into teaching, possibly, do a couple of exciting things. I might be making a podcast with Josh. Um, so yeah. So what's the deal with Penn State squirrels? Oh god. <laughs> um, they're creepy as hell. They jump out of nowhere. But I guess what we really should talk about is like the bear that was on campus this semester. That was kind of wild. Exactly. Now, what's one thing you wish you knew before coming to Penn State? Mm. <clears throat> one thing I wish I knew. 
how much of a good time I would have. I don't know, I really didn't expect um, to have as much fun as I did and to be able to have such a great balance. I came in freshman year like really nervous about, you know, either studying too much and like having FOMO because everything's sorority life and Greek life and I didn't want to be in it. But I actually was able to integrate myself really well and I think a lot of people feel the same way. Like it's just so easy. Is your school diverse? Well, if you're in my program, <laughs> it's really diverse. Um, but I would say stereotypical, like a lot, of, like most of the student body is white, but there's obviously like still a good amount of diversity in groups on campus that you can find. Now, is there a strong alumni network? Um, personally, I haven't intera interacted with a lot of the alumni network, but I know we do have the biggest one. And whenever I'm like at an airport, if anyone sees me with Penn State gear, they're like, we are, and I, I'm like, yeah, same. So now what's one thing every student needs to do before graduating? Oof. Take pictures in front of Old Main, which is what we just did, and then like go hike somewhere, I guess. That's what everyone says. And what's one thing you'd change about Penn State? One thing I would change about is probably the bathrooms here. Um, I think the dorms need to get better because the renovated ones are really nice. But other than that, like, I feel like it's, you know, perfect. I don't know. So now, how close is the nearest airport? Uh, 15 minutes away. It's By so close. car or? By car. It's mm -hmm. a really small airport. There's only like two flights, two planes that like go out of there, really small terminals, but I love it. That's how I fly home to Florida. So now what's one place you want to visit? Hmm. I think I want to go to India because I want to visit a couple monasteries there. <laughs> so now what's the favorite place you visited? Thailand. Um, I went two years ago with uh, some of my friends and one of them who's from there, so it was really nice. What's your favorite holiday? Hmm. Maybe like Hanukkah or just like any of the Jewish holidays just because I love the food. What's this thing you just drew? Hey, this is a benzene because I'm a benzene babe. Uh, I took my chemistry shirt off, but I'm a big fan of organic chemistry here. Now, have you ever seen two pretty best friends? Josh is the prettiest best friend. Oh, thank you. And uh, should the people watching this apply to Penn State? Um, to quote my mom and most people here, I'd say like, if you want to work hard and play hard, come on, we are.